Hey you, this is Jasim from Codeband and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to host a static website in under 5 minutes. So if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon near to it. So without any further, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so what I have created here is a simple contact form as you could see here you know with just you know HTML CSS and JavaScript and some bootstrap too and you could also use you know a multi-page site and all no issues with that you know as far as it is a static website there is no issue at all so the first thing uh, you know you have to be in here is you know you should have a github account or probably you know a gitlab or bitbucket account i should say you know here in i'm using github so what i'm going to do is you know i'm going to github.com slash new and i'm just creating a new repository let me say it as you know codeband hyphen netlify now i'll say about netlify you know in a minute and i'll just create a repository here and you know what i'm gonna do is you know in here in the in the you know in the root folder i'm i'm typing in cmd here to get cmd and i'm making this you know directory as a git repository so i'll say git in it and then i'll say git add dot then the next thing is you know git commit uh, minus m then i'll say you know just first commit then the next one is you know i'll you know set the remote here I'll just copy and paste you know this line of code here and I'll just paste in here and the next one is you know this line of code and I'll paste it here now with that being said you know everything in the in the local you know repository is being transferred into the remote one in here as you can see you know um, it's processing Alright, it is, you know, all done. Now, if you go to, you know, if you refresh this page, you could see that in here. So, with that being said, the next thing you want is, you know, a Netlify account. Now, Netlify is, you know, the service provider for hosting a website. You know, you should easily go to www.netlify.com and you should have an account. So, sign up here in this button and, you know, you could use any of this stuff here. So, I have GitHub, so I'll just sign up with GitHub. Since I already have an account, you know, I should say I should, you know, redirect, you know, to this page, you know, in your case, you know, you'll be you'll have some authorization with GitHub and all and ultimately it will be in this, you know, in this page. Now, herein, you could easily say new site from Git and the next thing, you know, you should select any of the provider here in the music GitHub. So I'll click that. And again, you know, I, it says authorized. Now, in your case, it will, you know, show, you know, that authentication stuff and all those stuff. And, you know, it will come back here. Now, here in, you can say configure the Netlify app on GitHub. And it will load a page. And in here at the bottom, you could, you know, select, repo you, you could allow access to all repositories. Or you could select, you know, the ones, you know, that you should give access to Netlify. So I'm selecting, you know, a, a repository that we have just created. And its name is, you know, the code band Netlify, this one. So I'll select that and I'll save. Now, with that being said, you know, we should see that in here. Just click on that and, you know, it will, you know, select the master branch and we'll deploy the site. And this one is ongoing. Yeah, we got that in a custom URL. And if you click in there and boom, everything is perfect. We got that site up and running in the server. Now, if you go to, you know, this site from anywhere, you could see this website up and running. So this is all about, you know, hosting a static website. Now, if you, you know, have, if you make any change, such as, you know, let me open this one in VS Code and let me make a change in there like you know in the bottom uh, yeah up here you know I'll, I'll just you know make that you know uh, send send button to send email and I'll just save and if I do open this stuff yeah this one change it in here then what I can possibly do is you know come back in CMD just do git add dot git commit minus m uh, you know I'll say you know change uh, button name 
and you know get pushed and that's it you know it'll automatically gets pushed into the remote repository in here uh, yeah if we you know reload this stuff then yeah everything is you know up and running now if we come back in here in you know our Netlify site here if you refresh this stuff then this should also change possibly and it's changed and this is you know by the automatic deployment with git feature of you know the Netlify so if you change anything you just push and if if it changes here then it will be automatically changed here in that instant itself so this is all about it thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon near to it so you know if you have any doubts please do let me know in the comment section so thank you for watching we'll see you in the next one